if we're introducing AI, it should be... So from an, because you've been a teacher and then you understand the whole curriculum mm. very well, and then considering all those challenges and the ecosystem within the education space in Australia, what's the appropriate age do you think is should, yeah. should be tested or trialed or should be piloted first before you go on full trial? How should we go about it? Because, you know, China can do things differently, but, you know. It depends. It depends on what, what you're looking for. What is the end result? If six-year-old is on a screen using AI, what are they using it for? Is it going to nurture them in a positive way? Mm -hmm. What does that positive way mean? Is it positive to you? Is it positive to society? Is it positive to the child's interests? Ideally, all of the above, right? But again, that's also subjective. If we're introducing AI, it should be heavily monitored, but also tailored to what the child is interested in. And I think to get them interested in something, they have to explore everything, mm -hmm. have them shown all the things that are appropriate to a six-year-old to go, oh, look, this looks great. I want to try this. All right, what do you want to do with it? Who's asking those questions? If you can train, if you can get an AI to do that, then you can accelerate that learning. Is acceleration necessary for a six-year-old? Mm -hmm. Is it something that they're capable of? Yes and no. Are they geniuses? Can you make them geniuses through some prompting and unlocking through AI? These are the things that I'm really fascinated in exploring. And another bias for AI was, is all affirming. Yes. It, it's always affirming. And then if you're affirming and if you are, have a bit of a negative emotion, you can go down that rabbit hole. Yeah. And, and same as for the positive as well. So again, you don't know that critical questions, if the, the language model has not been trained to ask the right mm. question, yeah. if there are no, not the right guardrails around it, it could lead anywhere. Yeah, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people talk about localized large language models, mm. which means that there's no external source that can update it, infiltrate it, and make it biased, unbiased, yeah. change the co whole trajectory. If it's localized, then the parent has ultimate control, Yeah. right? What happens when your child comes home from school, you talk about the day, it's localized. Mm. There's no external factors that can, you know, change that. And then if you want to do that with AI, I mean, if the parents don't have time, there's a bigger problem there. Mm. But also if you can train the AI to assist and assist a parent, like there's some amazing app ideas out there.